Okay, let's connect the USB ASP programmer to the ATmega 324P microcontroller. The female header on the USB ASP programmer has a tab to note orientation. Use this tab to determine what pins will be connecting to the microcontroller. We're going to start with the first one, which is MOSI. So just use a header or use a, a jumper wire and note where the tab is, where I'm putting the, the jumper wire. And we're going to connect that to the sixth pin of the microcontroller. The next pin is the MISO pin, M-I-S-O, Master In Slave Out. And that's on the opposite side. And that will be on pin number seven. The SCK is the next pin on number eight. So we'll just go ahead and put a wire in there. And it's right next to the MISO. Reset is the next pin, and that's next to the SCK. We're going to plug that into pin number 9. And now we're left with VCC and ground. The VCC pin is located next to the MOSI MOSI pin. And that will plug into the 10th pin of the microcontroller, which is VCC. And the last one is ground. And ground is located next to the end. It's not the actual end, it's the one right next to the end. Plug that into number 11. Now let's plug it into the computer and test the programmer and the communication to the microcontroller using the AVR Dude application. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB ASP programmer into the into a USB slot on the computer. And now I'm going to go to the command prompt at cmd.exe. Okay, and the application is called AVR Dude, A V R D U D E. And you can use the help to figure out all of the, the parameters. We're going to be using the dash C for the programmer and dash P, lowercase, for the part number, for the, the ATmega 324P part number. We'll start by putting the programmer in, USB ASP, and the part number is M324P. And when we press enter, you'll notice that the AVR dice device is initialized and ready to accept instructions, and it was able to get a device signature. So that was successful. Now that we have established a connection for the USB ASP programmer from the computer to the microcontroller, and we've confirmed that the connection is correct using AVR Dude. We can now attempt to transfer a program into the microcontroller. I'm going to use Atmel Studio to write the program and do the transfer. Before we write the program, we need to set up the USB ASP programmer for AVR Dude in the Tools section using the External Tools selection in the Tools menu. We're going to add a tool. We don't really need a click on add here because we already have one as a default. We'll call this USB ASP. The command is going to be avrdude.exe and the arguments is what's going to come after the avrdude. And the arguments are going to be dash C, which is the USB ASP programmer, dash P for the part number, and this one is going to be the M 324P. I might as well put that in the the title as well. The AT the AT Mega 324P. And now for the the flash uploading. 
Actually, I'm going to use a, a macro that's already stated here. And this actually comes from one of the comments in the YouTube video for the previous Atmel Studio video that I made. And he suggested using the target directory and target name. And it works quite well. So we'll use the target directory macro for the, for the folder or directory that um, the release or debug will be located and the target name. And this way we'll, we won't have to select whether we're working in debug or in the release mode, it'll automatically know. And then we're gonna add the dot hex right here, dot hex colon i. And the target directory and target name will just be where it's located, where the file or the, uh, the current build is located and the name of the hex file. And there just put dot hex. So we're going to go and apply that and press OK. Now we can make our make our project. So we'll make a new project. We're going to use the GCC C++ executable project and we'll name it USB ASP test programming. We need to search for our device. I'm just going to put in 324p and we'll use this one has all the information here that you need. The data sheet comes in handy and you'll see that there is no tools here. So, and since we already put it in our own, we don't really need these tools anyway. Press okay. And we have our default code that it gives us the standard include and the main function with the never ending loop inside. So I'm going to do a blinking LED. So I know that, I'm accessing the right port and pin and the, the LED is blinking. So I know that it's just not something that's, you know, I'm causing it to be on or off. So when I'm blinking it, I know that I'm actually doing something in the program. So I'm going to first do the data direction register, DDRB and use the, the or bitwise one pin B zero. And this is just setting it so it can be an output pin and port B and we're going to turn off, set it to the off state first instead of the on state. So we're using the and not bitwise operation. So we're, we're making sure it's zero first, even though it probably will be zero anyway. And we'll add a delay. Should put the delay include statement at the top and the delay header file. And now we will we'll delay it 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. And we will do a toggle bitwise operation for that pin. So this should work. Let's tr see if it has any errors. We're going to go ahead and build the solution. It says zero errors, one warning. And that's probably the one I always get, which is the, let's see. FCPU not defined. Yep. And we could do that, but it really is not necessary at this, at this point. You can also see that same warning under the error list. All right. Now we have a successful build. We can go ahead and program the rocket controller. First, make sure that your programmer is plugged in and click on the tools, the USB ASP 18 mega 324p. Let's look at the output. Should have put it in there. No, didn't put it in there. You know, that's it's it showed us on a on a command prompt really quickly and you couldn't really see anything there. So I'm going to go into the external tools and there's a place where you can put use output window. So just click that Boolean and you can apply. OK, and let's try doing it again so we can see what is actually going on tools. USB ASP 18 mega 324 and you can see that it shows the the writing and reading. So first it reads the information on the mark controller to get the device signature and whatever it needs. Then it writes the the firmware or the hex file to the mark mark controller and then it does a verification. I did notice that there is a warning cannot set SCK which is the synchronized clock period. Please check for USB ASP firmware update. Well, we can see that it 
did the programming correctly. I'm um, not sure what this is, but it doesn't seem to matter, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. So let's check to see if the LED is blinking. Okay, the microcontroller is programmed. You can see that the LED is blinking. The only changes that I made to the board from the previous video is I connected the ground to the ground rail, the VCC to the plus rail, and the port B pin 0 has been connected to one end of resistor and the other end of the resistor is connected to the LED. So those are the steps that you need to connect the USB ASP programmer, configure it, and program the microcontroller. Thank you for watching.